This is Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, Barakatham, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect Akim out here during this fight, pushing this word with faith, hope, and sincerity. I'm going to read this verse again, Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And, and really, that's, that's a philosophy that we embrace uh, constantly being vexed in this world. Because the well-doing in which we're doing is we're preaching salvation and righteousness, okay, unto the hopefully elect. But uh, through these tribulations, brothers can get weary, can get tired, uh, can be... Um, can be worn out, you know, as scripture says, man, you know, um, you know, these, these Edomites, these other heathen nations, you know, the spiritual demon Satan is seeking to wear out the saints of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. But here in Galatians, Paul is telling the Galatians, uh, clearly Israelite foreigners, okay, don't be concerned about um, how the ministry is going and how the development of it is because you're doing well okay don't don't be weary don't be don't think carnally about how things are happening at a different rate because it says for in due season we shall reap if we faint not so the whole thing is about enduring to the end okay so i'm gonna get this word here weary strong's g 1573 ekakeo ekakeo there's lexicon Second entry, egg kakeo, egg kakeo. It says to be utterly spiritless, to be wearied out, to be exhausted. Okay, so don't be exhausted in well doing. Okay, Yahweh Bashimi Awashah has chosen, uh, has called you for this ministry. Lord willing, has chosen you for this ministry. You know, so so although the flesh may be weak, the spirit is strong. You know. So, so, and plus, when, when you are exhausted and you're weak, that means that you're spiritless. That means that the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Oshai is dwindling in you. That means your light, okay, is, is growing dim. And there's no way your light, or my light, you know, because as I'm speaking, I'm speaking to myself, my light should be growing, my light should be growing dim. We're at the end uh, of this captivity. We're at the end of Babylon, a.k.a. America. And, and Esau and the rest of these other heathen, other heathen nations are losing right along with two thirds of our people. OK, so, yeah, don't be don't be spiritless. OK, always have that vibrancy, you know, always have that abundant flowing of this knowledge, wisdom and understanding in you, because this is the, the knowledge and wisdom that's going to be able to save our souls, the stability of our time. It says to be bad or weak, i.e., by implication, to fail in heart, faint, be weary. You know, and, and this is where Esau, the so-called white man, lies in doubt. You know, having you think carnally, having you think of what's going to happen, you know, to the flesh. When the flesh is already dead anyway, you know, the flesh is just, just merely uh, uh, dust, you know, and clay mixed with water, Okay. However, what is it that that quicken it is is the spirit. So so that that cannot be damaged. And that's what Esau is trying to play on our people's minds and emotions by creating doubt. Okay? But that's why this truth is so important. Okay? Cuz while we're doing well, we can we can become exhausted. Okay? That's why we have the brotherhood, that's why we have uh the apostles, we have leaders, okay? Which are, are inspirational, which are motivating us. Okay, to achieve what our ultimate goal is, which is salvation. Okay, let's read this again. Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Okay, let's get this word here, faint. Strong's G, 1590. Ekluo. Ekluo. To loose, unloose, to set free, to dissolve to weaken, relax, exhaust, okay? 
See, Esau, the so-called white man, wants us to be weak in the spirit and weak in the flesh to where when Jacob's trouble, martial law comes about, that he wants our mind to be fearful of him instead of fearful of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, that's how our spirit will faint because carnally, the fear in which uh, uh, we have should be towards Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So anything that Esau does, he's he's only going to be able to kill the flesh. Where Scripture says we should fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai, who is able to kill the, the the flesh and the soul in hell. You know, in the grave. It says. To have one strength relaxed, okay? And really, that's a form of witchcraft because that's what Esau, the so-called white man, does to our people. You know, he conditions them to to uh, to not be guarded, you know, to, to where he can bind that, that, that strong man, you know? And then bring in uh, uh, more and more demons, you know, to subdue your, your heart, your spirit toward your Yahweh Shimei Shai. To have one strength relaxed. To be enfeebled through exhaustion, you know, so going to work, you know, having to deal with these other heathen nations, you know, dealing with these wicked ass women, you know, dealing with these children that have demons on them. And then, of course, just the vibration of this whole earth is exhausting. It's ve it's a vexation. King Solomon uh, uh, said it said it the best, man. All is vexation and, 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 and vanity, you know. So, so, yeah, I mean, these are the things in which Esau creates. He creates weariness and he creates exhaustion through um, through his world of witchcraft. OK, it says to be enfeebled. That means to be weak as well through exhaustion, to grow weak, grow weary, be tired out, to be despondent, become faint hearted. OK, to faint. That's why scripture says, if thou faint in, in the day of adversity, then your strength is small. What strength are we talking about? We're talking about the strength of the Holy Scriptures. We're talking about Yahweh by Shimei Shai. If we're relying on solely Yahweh by Shimei Shai, then we're not going to faint faint in any day, okay? Because our spirit is going to be renewed. That inner man is is what's going to be driving us. It's not going to be the flesh, you know. It's going to be the flesh that that is salaki. It's going to be the flesh that's actually destroyed, but the spirit will be uh, uh, renewed. And grown day by day. It says. Um, actually I'm going to get into a commentary real quick. This is a commentary from John Gills. And I, I just want to read this bottom paragraph here. Where it says if we faint not. It says but continue to the end. Preserve constantly. Uh, persevere. So like you, persevere constantly. In doing acts of uh, benefits. Benefits. And patiently wait. As the husbandman does for the precious fruits of the earth. So that husband been waiting for the precious fruits of the earth, okay, are the elect. That husbandman being Yahweh Shai. Okay? But as it as it's gonna say here, Yahweh Shai can't make anything speed up uh quicker than what Yahweh by Shimao Shai has already ordained. Okay? It says, For there must be a distance of time between sowing and reaping. So when you sow, just like any other plant or any other seed, so like any other seed, you're not just going to get a plant overnight. You're not going to get a tree overnight. It says, for there, for there must be a distance of time between sowing and reaping. Men must not expect to reap as soon as they sow. Things have to happen in a dispensation of time. Okay? It says, and therefore should not be weary in sowing. Okay? nor impatient in waiting though they do not see as yet the appearance of the fruits thereof for in their season they will be seen and enjoyed and this is eternally okay that's why we should not be weary we shouldn't doubt we shouldn't be spiritless we shouldn't be uh, uh we shouldn't we should faint not okay because that's a commandment number one and, and plus it shows that if, if by fainting, that means that our strength is small. That means our devotion. That means our uh, um, allegiance. That means our connection with Yahweh by Shimei is 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 small. There is no strength, and and that's not true. Yahweh by Shimei is waking up 144,000 men, okay, to rule eternally, okay, to be at, uh, the, to be his examples on earth of his strength, of his faith, 
of his righteousness. Okay. This is a Ephesians chapter three. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heaven, heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of Yahweh, according to the eternal purpose, which he proposed in Hamashiach Yahweh, Shah, our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations. Okay. Because at this time, of course, you know, Paul's going through his own trials and tribulations. Just as all Akim are going through their own tri trials and tribulations. But those trials and tribulations shouldn't make us faint. If anything, they should give us encouragement. Because why? We know that Yahweh Hashem is still dealing with us. You know, as sons. You know, and as not as bastards. It says, Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with his might by his spirit in the inner man. That's what's being renewed day by day. That's what's growing. That is what we will reap if we faint not. Okay? This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. And um, I'm just going to get to the point. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 13. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. Once again, the same message in which Paul was telling the uh, Israelite foreigners and Israelites uh, in uh, Galatia. Okay? He's now saying the same thing to Israelites and Israelite foreigners in Thess Thessalonia, okay, or Thessalonica, I believe that's that's how it's appropriately uh, said as well. It says, be not weary in well-doing. So faint not, neither be weary in well-doing, okay? Meaning, hey, this is, this is a, uh, this is a marathon, man, you know? And not only that, it's a, it's a, a tandem marathon, you know, which is, which is more appropriate. I mean, that means everyone's running their same race. All the Akim across the four corners of the globe, you know. But there are moments in which we're going to push each other. There's moments in which we're going to pull each other, you know. But we are the only ones running this race, which is the reason why he's only talking to Israelites, specifically the elect. Because only the elect are doing well. And how are we doing well? We're doing well by uh, uh, continuing in this ministry, okay purifying ourselves through the, the through these holy words repenting okay becoming humble and contrite and obedient to Yahweh by remaining faithful that is how we gain strength okay that is how that inner man is renewed all right this is a uh, second Corinthians you know what matter of fact yep yep I'm, I'm gonna just read here let me go back this is second Corinthians 3 I'm gonna go back a prior chapter because I want to read a a bit down here it says um second corinthians 3 and i'm gonna start at 15 it says but even unto this day when moses is read the veil is upon their heart two-thirds nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away now the now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty but we but we all with open face beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. OK, so so we're being transformed. We're being renewed. OK, that image of Yahweh by Shemi is spiritual. OK, that's why we need those celestial bodies. OK, to, to be able to house it, you know, right right now, as we're growing in this ministry. OK, we're, we're growing in, in well-doing, but those fleshly thoughts of weariness and faint not, we have to surpass because then that shows how the spirit is taking over. The spirit is ruling over the flesh. The flesh isn't ruling over the spirit, okay? And this is the point. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, Okay? And, and that's the point. We're not we're not going to faint based upon what Esau, the so-called white man, is doing. We know that 
and, and Lord willing, maybe this is <coughs> Salaki. Lord willing, um, this would be another lesson, but we have all the answers, man. You know, we have the test, we have the questions, and we have all the answers. There's no reason for us to faint. You know, there's no, there, there, there's nothing that Esau, the so-called white man, has has not done that is not accounted in the scriptures. That is the reason why we faint not. We faint not because we know that Yahweh Shemayahu rules all, and by us by by us being uh, called, Lord willing, we are are chosen and selected, okay, for eternal rulership. That will be our rest. That will be our our, our reaping, okay. You know, as, as I had made the example of how you're not going to uh, get a tree after just planting the seed. It takes time. And after that time, it becomes a plant. And after it becomes a plant, it becomes a tree. And it's stable and it's rooted and it's grounded and, and it's formed. Okay? Those are the things that, that we're looking forward to. We're not, we're not concerned about fainting. We're not concerned about being weary. We're not concerned about doubt. Scripture says, he that doubt is, a, is as sin. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So, so yeah, we have full confidence and assurity of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. Let's read this again. Galatians 6 and 9. And let us be not weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Okay? And this is 2 Corinthians 4 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. And, yeah, I'll read verse 2. But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh by Shemiah deceitfully, because that's what two thirds do. That's what these other heathen nations do. Okay? But by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. Okay? Um, and this last verse here, and then I'm going to wrap up. This is Isaiah 40 and 28. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting Yahweh by Shemiah the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not. <laughs> See? The Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai ain't faint. Right? Scripture says, hey, hey, his mercies are renewed every day, man. You know? He, he, has, he has a mighty work that, that's happening right now in the earth. He's using his men. He's growing. He, th this, this vineyard that, that he's growing, these seeds uh, these first fruits, okay, are coming to harvest, okay? But uh, but the work of a husbandman, okay, is constant. You're either you're either reaping or you're sowing, okay? And Lord willing, we're in the season of reaping. And 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 really, um Yahweh by Yahweh Yahushai is in the season of reaping. But he can't feign either. You know, I mean of course now when you we're talking about an unlimited power as well. Okay? But the point I'm making here is this. Like our father isn't fainting, neither should we. Okay, It says, uh, The creator of the ends of the earth fainted not, neither is weary. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, bro. Hey, hey, we are modeling the example of our forefather. We uh, are our father, okay, and our forefathers, and our big brother, Yahweh Shai. Okay? He didn't faint. He didn't become weary, you know? He cried, he sighed, you know, he complained, but he wasn't weary. He wasn't spiritless, okay? He didn't faint. He didn't become weak, all right? He wasn't exhausted. He didn't take his hand off the plow, okay? He endured until the end. It says, the creator of the ends of the earth fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. So let's get this word here. Uh, I just want to get fainted, Okay. Strong's H, 3286, Yah-F, Yah-F. Okay, this is Yah-Pah, not Yah-Pah, but Yah-Apah, I believe. It says, to, to be or grow weary, to be fatigued, to be faint, to be or grow weary, be fatigued, to be faint, okay? Um, it says, to tire, as if from wearisome flight, okay? Like, this is a battle going on, man. You know, that, hey, that, that's why it requires endurance, okay? That's why it requires patience, all right? This, I mean, and, and, and let, me, let me correct myself. These are many battles, okay? Because we're also in a war. 
This is the spiritual warfare. So, so yeah, you have to have endurance. You have to have stamina, okay? You can't grow wearisome, when, especially at the end, okay? It says, faint cause to fly or uh, be weary. Um, yeah, so, so, so yeah, none, none of these things can be a part of our, um, our composition, okay? Because it's not a part of the composition of the Lord, okay? It says, um, there is no searching of his understanding. This is Isaiah 40 and 29. He giveth power to the faint, okay? So even when in this situation, being here in, in the captivity of Esau, uh, the world uh, being given into the hand of the wicked, okay? Yahweh by Shimei Shah has given us power. His holy word, his spirit, that's, that, that's power. Scripture said that he would be a father unto the fatherless, okay? And, and, and ultimately, that's going to become spiritual power, okay? It says, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just saying, Yahweh by Shimei Shah knows when we're weak, okay? But our minds should not be weak. Our spirits should not be weak. We should not default in the day of adversity because then our strength is small. That's us fainting. But Yahweh by Shimei Shah said, guess what? Let's just say you do stumble. Let's say you fall. Guess what? I got more power and I got more increase coming to you. Okay? As long as you abide by this word and do what's right by, by my holy words. Okay? Verse 30. Even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, shall renew their strength. And that's what we're doing. We're waiting. We're waiting to become those trees. Okay? Those seeds were planted, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, centuries ago, <laughs> it's like it, you know, in, in the spirit world, they were, they were they were planted, you know, here in the earth. Okay, now now those seeds have become plants. Those plants have, have become trees. That vineyard is growing. Okay, it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Spiritual power, man. Wings as eagles flying. Okay, in chariots, out of chariots, you know. Manifesting things, miracles, that's spiritual power. They shall run and not be weary. When you run and you're not be weary, you're not getting tired, you're not getting faint. You, the only way that that can occur is by the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. And likewise, that same attitude, that same behavior, that same model, okay, we should be able to go more than 12 rounds with Esau, the so-called white man, okay? Because he don't have the power of the Lord. All he has is the power of the sword, and the power of lies and witchcraft. And like I said, we already have the answers. So <laughs> what's like 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 why should we even faint or, or be weary? It says, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. Okay? Once again, man, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah is what's causing us not to faint. And the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah is causing us not to be weary. That's what faith is. That's what trust and confidence in Yahweh by Shimei Shai is. So, uh, Lord willing, you brothers will edify. Once again, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shim, Yahweh Shai by Shim, Rakak Wadash, Barakatham, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect Akim out here during this fight, pushing this word with faith, hope, and sincerity. Until the next time, I'm going to say Shalom.